Aston Villa's injuries and suspensions are the inconveniences that get in the way of Dean Smith fielding his strongest claret and blue team from one week to the next. This is your one-stop shop for all the latest news on the Villa players on the treatment table or the naughty step. We'll update it each week with the absentees, potential return dates and thoughts of the manager. First of all is the handy Opta widget, showing how many yellow and red cards the Villa players are on. Then, further down, or details about the current casualties sidelined by injury. All the latest Villa news and was connection loan watch what next? Suspensions John McGinn will miss the next game against Derby after collecting his 10th booking of the season in the defeat to West Brom, he sat out the draw at Stoke on Saturday. You can see the red and yellow cards, statistics and other Villa player stats here, injuries, Jack Grealish injury, shin details, Grealish limped off in the closing stages of Villa's draw at local rivals West Brom as the beginning of December and has been missing since. Initially in a protective boot, the midfielder has made steady progress in his recovery. To aid the rehabilitation process further, Grealish flew out to Dubai with a club physio to benefit from the warmer climate. He returned to training after a week in the Middle East and is now focusing on a return within the next couple of weeks. What Smith said, he's trained well, so he's available for selection against Derby. Whether he starts or not, we'll wait and see, but he's trained well enough. He's worked really hard to get himself into contention, so he's pushing for a starting spot on Saturday. The last match played, West Brom 2 Aston Villa 2, Friday December 7, potential return date, Aston Villa v Derby, Saturday March 2, James Chester injury, swollen knee details, Chester has been nursing a knee problem for several months. It was first made public when he aggravated the injury on international duty with Wales in November. Since then, because of Villa's pre-January lack of central defenders, he has been training intermittently and receiving pain-killing injections to play. Following the loan signing of Tyrone Mings, Smith took the opportunity to rest Chester. What Smith said, we have to let his knee settle down. It has been swelling regularly so he has been having injections to sort that. Whenever you have a swollen knee it tells you there is something angry going on in there. Having the injection and having the rest will hopefully help him get back for the last 8 to 10 games. Last match played, Aston Villa 2 Ipswich 1, Saturday, Saturday January 26. Potential return date, March. Axel to Ansby injury, metatarsal details to Ansby, who had been in terrific form prior to this cruel injury blow, has made sound progress in the early stages of his recovery. The on-loan Manchester United defender suffered the foot injury in training before the Leeds United match prior to Christmas, and has missed all of the following matches. The centre half underwent surgery straight away however, and it has proven to be a success. To Ansby headed back to parent club Manchester United to aid his recovering and is set for a return within the next month. What Smith said, we're in constant touch with the medical staff at Manchester United and when they feel he is ready to come down he will. He's probably due back with us in early March, last match played, Aston Villa 2 Stoke 2, Saturday December 15, potential return date, mid-March LOVRE Kalinich injury, concussion details Kalinich was substituted at halftime in the defeat to Albion last Saturday at Villa Park. He collided with Albion midfielder Jake Livermore and left the field at halftime concussed. He was rated as 50-50 to -50 to take part at the Bet365 Stadium, but wasn't deemed ready and Smith called on Jed Steer in his place. Not thought to be a long-term problem, Kalinic is in contention to return against the Rams. What Smith said, Lavra is following the concussion protocol so we'll have more information on him tomorrow, Smith said ahead of the trip to the Bet 365 Stadium. There's a protocol that he's following because he was concussed. He was on the bike yesterday and has done some work with Neil Cutler, the goalkeeping coach. 
the doctor has to make sure the boxes are ticked to see whether he's okay. Last match played, Villa 0 Albion 2, Saturday February 16th Potential return date, Villa v Derby, Saturday March 2nd Alan Hutton injury, need details, Hutton limped off within 3 minutes of the Stoke match beginning over the weekend when he suffered a knee injury. Visibly distraught, the Scot was helped down the tunnel in front of the away fans moments before the Potters took the lead. Smith, though, confirmed that the injury wasn't as bad as first feared. What Smith said, it isn't as bad as first feared. We thought he may have ruptured his MCL. We don't think it's a rupture, but he's certainly overstretched that area. He'll be out for a number of weeks, and we'll have to monitor him and see how he is. We certainly lack in that area at the moment, but I'm hopeful we'll have him back before the end of the season, hoping, more than anything, last match played, Stoke 1 Villa 1, Saturday February 23rd, potential return date, no time scale yet. Henri Lansbury injury, hamstring details, Lansbury, who has struggled with injuries for most of this campaign, suffered the cruel setback when he took to the field for the final half an hour of the FA Cup defeat to Swansea on January 5th. The midfielder looked bright during his cameo, but hasn't featured since and Smith admitted to there being a frustrating setback. What Smith said, Henri is taking a little bit longer than we thought. He came back a little too quickly and suffered a relapse. We have to make sure that doesn't happen again. Last match played, Aston Villa 0 Swansea 3 Saturday January 5th potential return date, no specified time frame. Jordan Lydon injury, unspecified muscle injury details, within days of returning from a loan spell at Oldham Athletic in January, Lydon is said to have badly injured a muscle taking a shot at the end of a training session. It is believed to be serious enough to end the Australian midfielder's season. What Smith said, Smith has yet to comment on Lydon's injury. Last match played, Fulham won Oldham Athletic 2 Sunday January 16th. Potential return date, July 2019. Tom Carroll injury, hip details, Smith revealed that the former Tottenham midfielder picked up a hip injury during his brief debut cameo of reading and could be out until the end of the month. It is believed to be a recurrence of an existing problem which sidelined him at Swansea earlier this season. What Smith said, Tom Carroll is back training with us fully. He did a little bit on Friday and started this week with us. He's also in contention for Saturday now. It's really good news that we've got players coming back, potential return date, Aston Villa v Derby, Saturday March 2nd.